Hey everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here, and today we're going to show you how to get rid of some BBA. So, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, that's black beard algae, and I do have a little tiny bit in this corner over here, and we're going to knock it out um, using some of this glutaride. Now, this is glutaraldehyde. Now, if you just take up the word glutaraldehyde, you look it up on Wikipedia, um, you're going to see that it's basically a sterilizing agent that's used in hospitals to clean hospital equipment. Um, I'm not sure if I really want to put that in my fish tank and leave it in there long term. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spot treat. Now I've already spot treated a couple spots in my tank and it has worked and knocked it right out. Um, but I did notice that I missed some. So before I get into treating uh, the tank, so this here is glutaraldehyde basically. And that's kind of the same thing as um, CCAM has Excel, uh, Nylock G has Enhance, and this is John's home, homemade version of it. And um, it works very well. So before we get into that, I think the first thing that we should do is really make sure that we know where it all is in the tank. And um, we've got to find it all so we can make sure that we dose it all. So I'm going to put this to the side right now. And what I'm going to do is I have my little rake here. I'm going to move some of the plants and just make sure that there's none anywhere that I haven't seen. I want to make sure that it's I'm really thorough about this part. All right, so I got my rake here. What I'm going to do is uh, I want to check and make sure there's nothing on the back wall here. So I'm just going to move it around. Because the first time I treated, I noticed there was some on the back wall. And uh, I did, looks like I knocked it right out. I don't see any up there. I do have a lot of star grass here that's growing really tall. These shrimp are not very happy with me. Um, but I don't see any blackbeard algae where there was some before. So that's a good sign that I actually did knock it out. But I did notice that there is some BBA right here on the wood. And this is right in my little shrimp's house. So uh, what I have done is I've actually thrown a wafer in the corner a couple hours ago. So most of the shrimp kind of went over to that side. And uh, that's how I'm going to knock this stuff out. So I know that there's some here. I can see that I have some right here on the glass as well as on this plant and on this plant. Um, and I did notice, and this is where it all started, was on my Anubias that I have one little piece here on the Anubius that I didn't get last time. We're going to make sure that we get it for the last time here and it should really kill it off the plant. We shouldn't have to worry about it again. But other than that, I don't see any um, BBA other than those couple little tiny spots. So let's get into how we're actually going to dose this. All right, so now that we see where my spots are or that I have to hit, I'm going to use some of this glutaraldehyde here. So this here is glutarade. And uh, I've got one of these medical syringes. Now I got this from the drugstore, just went up to the pharmacist and said, hey, uh, I got to treat a sick fish. Can you give me one of these things here? And he was more than happy um, to give me one. Now this here is a 10 millimeter syringe. And uh, I'm going to try to get a full syringe out of here. Now what I have done beforehand here is I've actually stopped this pump now for about a good 10 minutes. I want to make sure that there's no flow, there's no moving current um, because when I go and dose the spot, it's really important that it's not going to go away. I want it to kind of linger on the leaf um, in order to kill off the, uh, the black beard algae. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you guys a better view. and. Uh, I'm going to show you spot treating this and then I'm going to show you um, what's happened over the next couple of days and we'll watch it kind of just disappear on its own. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to lightly squeeze some out with my syringe. And uh, as you can see, it kind of just slowly falls. There's kind of like a little vapor trail. Now, I really hope this picks up on camera. And I'm just going to kind of apply it to all the little areas here that I see. All 
All right, so it's been two days. Um, now, I did notice that uh, in my inspection, I actually missed a couple spots, which was pretty bad. Um, it was some pretty big spots that I missed. So um, I did um, spot treat these places here as well. I'm going to give you a little close-up, and I'm going to show you what the BBA looks like now a couple days later. Um, and you guys are going to notice that it's pretty much almost all gone. So let's get a close-up shot here, and uh, we'll check out how it turned out. So here you can see the BBA. Um, you can see that it's all white now. That means that it's pretty much dead. It's been, I think the one shot of treatment pretty much knocked it out. And I expect that to fully turn white here within the next day or two. If not, I'm going to give it another spot treatment. So we're gonna look at just a little bit more now. And the same thing here with this BBA. It's kind of got white on the tips, which is means that it's uh, pretty much fried. Um, but I do think out of all the algae here that this here was the most successful in treating so far. Um, it's just completely white. So I'm going to try, um, I think, another shot on these couple sides here. And hopefully we can get this knocked out within one more treatment. All right, so as you can see, the glue right here that I got from the plant guy, uh, that's the plantguy.ca, um, it's actually working pretty well. So one thing I do want to say is if you ever see BBA in your tank, you, you definitely want to act on it right away. And uh, I, I'm definitely going to recommend doing a spa treatment just because if we see the, on the close-ups here that it's taken a, a couple of days applying directly to the BBA. So if you were to just put this in your tank as directed, um, and this goes the same for Excel or um, any of the other products out there, that it's probably not going to work as good as a direct applying onto the algae. So um, it's going to be hard to get on top of. So I really suggest um, spot treating immediately when you see it so it doesn't spread. Because even if one little tiny hair uh, spreads off, that could attach somewhere else and you can have the whole problem all over again. So um, you definitely do want to really check. If you see some BBA, you definitely want to just rip apart your whole tank and look for it. Um, that's what I did here today when I, or the other day I noticed this and I kind of pulled out my wood, pulled everything out yesterday, just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything in the back and um, it looks like I was fine and was just on these couple little pieces here. So, I think we got this under control guys. So I do want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you guys have yourself an amazing day.